Hey guys, this is Mike Cricket 113 and this is the President McKinley. I uh, just wanted to show you guys the uh, SWR meter. Now I know on some other videos, Cobras, Unidens, uh, Rangers, all that, they have those uh, needle dial uh, SWR meters. And you know, not every, uh, well, some of the older Cobra radios, the newer ones, the LXs, they have an internal one, which is really cool, which is similar to this one. But I'd like to show you the difference with this one. Um, this one here, it's in the option menu, uh, which is the dial right here. Sorry, uh, hard to see right now. There's the dial. So I'm gonna hit that until we get on the screen there. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Get my hand out of the way. <laughs> We're gonna keep going. There's the contrast, key beep, which you could shut off, which is nice. Roger beep, which is pretty quiet. So there it is. I know it says a 10, but that's a 1.0, okay? And you hear that beeping, how it's constant, okay? When it's not constant, it will there will be pauses and breaks in between the beeps. So it's, you're able to go tune your SWR, and this will stay on for like, I think three minutes. You'll have to check the manual. Um, and uh, so you could be outside of your vehicle and still testing it until you hear that clear tone of a 1.0 to one. Uh, then you'll be able to adjust it while you're outside of your vehicle, which is awesome. No other radio was able to do that. Uh, President McKinley's are. I believe, uh, I believe their uh, AM, their traditional AM radio, might be able to have this capability, and I'd have to look into that, but uh, I just wanted to share with you that the SWR meter on the President McKinley, um, it's just phenomenal. Like, you don't have to keep going back in and out of your vehicle uh, to, uh, to get it, that tone to come back. Now this is channel one. Now if you key the mic, see that's the microphone. If you key the mic, it'll stop it. So I'm getting a 1.0 on the, ch yeah, 1.0 on uh, channel one. Channel 40, I don't think I'm getting the same, but we'll see here in a second. All right, there you go, 1.6. Not too bad. So basically, I think I need to uh, shorten my antenna a little bit. But uh, I was tuning this uh, Striker SRA10, which I actually have hooked up to a, it's a mag now, it's in the attic right now, but I have it hooked up to a, uh, what is it, a 24 by 60 inch desktop. <clears throat> Maybe it's 28 inches, it's metal. It's from Uline, actually. It was a, a piece of shelf that we couldn't really use. Um, actually, it's a shelf, I'm sorry. Uh, so I took it home with me and I said, you know what, instead of having this mag mount sitting here in the room with me, uh, I'm gonna stick it up on a piece of metal and play around with it. I also put a 102 and a half inch uh, Romex, uh, Romex wires on the plate as well, just to have like additional ground plane. So how to get your mag metal to work in the house, get yourself a uh, large piece of metal. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. But anyway, this is the President McKinley uh, USA 24 and 12 volt. Uh, got it hooked up to a uh, power supply in the house. So all, all you really need, and uh, I really recommend President Radios. Uh, especially the President McKinley. It's the only sideband, uh, for the U.S. anyway, it's the only sideband radio that they make. Um, unfortunately, uh, people aren't really making uh, U.S. FCC rated uh, sideband radios much anymore. I don't, I don't see Cobra having any new models out. It would be pretty cool to see the, uh, the LX uh, or the, those variations, those newer uh, screen models. Uh, you know, with sideband, um, you know, a lot of people use it, you know, some people, I guess maybe the corporations don't think people use it, but they, they do, you know, look at all the videos that are out on YouTube right now. Uh, people having DX, DX was skipping here, uh, April 1st, 
and the 14th. Uh, we had a couple day runs. If you check out my other videos, uh, I had a six meter opening, there was a 10 meter opening, um, obviously 11 meter, had a few of those. But uh, yeah, anyway, so let's go back to channel one. Actually, you know what, let's see what it says on 20 because that's right in the middle, right? So yeah, we'll check out channel 20. There we go. 1.2. But you hear that pulsing, so when you hear it clean like you heard on channel 1, and you knew it was good. 1.4. Now it's a weird day out there, so I don't know if it's uh, the moisture in the air or whatever, but uh, my noise floor is also pretty high today for some reason. It normally, uh, whoops, it normally isn't so high. I also have this hooked up to uh, this MFJ 870. It's for uh, HF bands up to uh, lower VHF um, six meters, roughly, which is like 50 megahertz. But we can test the uh, SWR on this and see. Actually, put it to set. And this is going to be hard, so we'll try it. <laughs> we'll key up the mic. Oh, look, it's right on the calibration line, so that's good. And then when we key up again, we'll see where we're at. So that's saying a 1.2, which is what the president said. So in all actuality, uh, the president's uh, SWR meter is... Uh, Correct, and uh, with the Grandmaster here, the MFJ 870 Grandmaster, they're both in uh, agreement. So if that doesn't tell you that President's SWR meters are awesome, I don't know what does. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to share with you that function, and uh, go go get yourself a President McKinley. Uh, you'll be happy. It's a it's a good size radio. It's uh, you know I have small hands and all, but you know, this thing's like six inches by six and a half or something like that. Din size radio. Uh, front firing speaker, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, three, I think it's a two and a half or three watt front firing speaker. It's got a lot of functions, Roger Beep, uh, weather channels. I'll show you that real quick. You've seen my video before about President McKinley. Yeah, I think it's got like 305 views right now. Uh, I did that video when uh, Dorian, Hurricane Dorian was uh, coming around. And uh, yeah, but, you know, I just thought I'd show you that real quick. Hadn't shown you guys. I showed you that on the other video, but I, I hadn't, uh, you know, I didn't really go into depth in it and show you the difference and the uh, similarities that it's a, an accurate uh, SWR meter. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Please hit like if you like this video and subscribe if you wanna watch uh, some more. And I hope you guys have a good day. Once again, this is Mike Cricket 113. I'll be seeing you.